Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now here we are on top of our waterfall here where we've built our little dam in the, in the process of trying to generate our own electricity for those winter periods. Now, we've finally worked it out that the 90 mil PVC pipe for us is exactly what we need. Now, we were um, chasing seven litres a second. And I think, we, if I remember correctly, we got around about 11 or 12 litres a second. And that then will in turn generate for us 300 watts um, an hour and around about that eight kilowatt hours a day, which is perfect for what we need for our homestead. Especially when the sun's not shining, we were having to run our generator over the winter months. Now, we're trying to come back a little bit better and use what sort of facilities that we have here at Fat Cow Farm. So, if you followed through in previous videos, we've gone through a bit of a trial and error process about what sort of pen stock or delivery pipe that would suit our needs. And, and what we've come back to is a 90 mil. Now, to, to start off, when we were going through the process, we were constantly adding pipe on and everything else. And we were all getting very, very wet. And check this out. I found a 90 mil gate valve that I can put into our system. And it's just a vertical down to shut off. And so now that we can now work on the pipe um, further down without getting too wet, or in turn when we're ready for water to start delivery, we open it like so. How good is that? Absolutely fantastic. Now, a part of this video is, is working out where we've got our run. So I've been clearing the bush flat out over the last oh, geez, three or four days now so that I can get my run right. Now, again, what we've done is we're just doing this as a test phase. Nothing's glued, everything's just pressed together. So what I'm gonna do, we'll go back further down the hill and we'll look back up and I'll show you our run and we're trying to keep very tight to this rock, rock face before we hit ground. Now, a lot of people have said that you need to put it into the ground and I think that's really gonna be the best option. So there's gonna be a fair bit of work there as soon as we hit ground level to, um, to start opening up the soil, digging it out so that we can bury this pipe. But where I've got the pipe exposed over this rock face, I think we're just gonna to have to wear the situation that I'm just gonna to have to build up rock walls to hide everything. So let's go further down. I'll show you what we're talking about and I'll see you soon. Alrighty, so here we are. You can see the damn wall just above me now. And I'm, I had to stay as close as I possibly could to this rock face. Now, ideally what I wanted to do was get closer, but what I've got is further down, I've got an outcrop that I had to get around. And I, I wanted to eliminate as many bends as I possibly could. And what I have here, I've got one, two, three bends just in this section, so I can come around this bluff line of, of rock. Now there's not really much I can do here because we're just dealing with rocks. So I think what I might end up doing is just putting in some, um, drill some brackets into the rock face, the solid rock, and then put over the, the 90 mil stormwater clamps so I can hold it all nice and tight and, and get my gradient right. And then from this area, just build up rocks so that I don't have um, goats jumping on it and protecting it from trees and limbs falling down in the wind and, and whatever it may be. I think that's really going to be the only option I've got. But I tell you what, this was the hardest. I started from there originally and went all the way down. And this is perfect why you don't glue anything straight away. Is that I came around and then all of a sudden I had to come back up because of that bluff further down. So really what had to happen is I had to work from the bottom up. Now, now that we've got our run, the only thing I need to do now is just work out a solid grade running through 
um, and then that will also help because we haven't started digging the pipe in yet at ground level and as we look back up you'll see that the, the pipe has got a natural flex to it over the natural ground and but that will all be eliminated once we start digging through so we might find that you know further down we're digging three to four hundred mil into the soil in other areas we might only be digging about a hundred but that's the sort of situation that we're dealing with and this is the hardest section of all so I'll take it down so that we're actually on natural ground and then we'll look back up and you can see what I mean about trying to hug the rock face and the run that we have so I'll see you further down I'll see you soon all right so we are now on natural ground and you can see the rock face coming down also too I'm not sure you're gonna be able to pick it up on the camera but I do have dips in the pipe and that's where I'm gonna to have to build from underneath rocks to support basically bridges coming across like through like so here you know I've got a high spot here got another high spot there so there's going to be a fair bit of construction works for this to all come into place but I'm stoked that we have now got our run our line of run all sorted now I've cleared what we needed to from all the dead blackberry canes yeah. and everything else where the goats have been so we're now ready to rock and roll now I can hear the water running through and what we're finding is at the end there I was having a bit of a sneak before and we're around about half to three quarters full still coming through the pipe now we're coming into bang what are we all uh, October so this will start slowing down now as we're sort of coming into those those summer months which will give us an opportunity to work a lot harder ready for the next autumn coming on to on to winter so we'll have all that squared away hopefully by then we'll also have the little powerhouse um, the Pelton wheelhouse squared away and we'll also have the cabling also in so that come winter we just have to flick the switch mate how good's that gonna be but I tell you what let's go further down and you'll be able to see what I've cleared through the bush line and um, to, to get our run so because from this point here back to the creek is just one long run I've got no bends so the resistance is basically zero except for the diameter of the pipe that's it I'll see you further down all right so as you can see I've cut my path right through here so we've got that straight run so the when we were doing our test phase we had bends and sweeps and everything else because I just I didn't want to interfere too much with the bush knowing where we were and even with all those bends and, and restrictions that we had you know we, we were looking at that I think it was about that 12 13 14 liters a second so and that was still well probably about a month ago where we we're still having a lot of heavy rain so this is going to be my my path and I sort of figure there's a, still a few kinks and bends and ups and downs but that the pipes just following natural ground but so that'll all be eliminated but what we're gonna find here running through is that you know we've got the, the best possible run with the less amount of resistance so mate I am absolutely pumped that this is all coming together now like it has been a dream for so long to get our own electricity off our own waterfall like it's just absolutely fantastic so this is our cut this is our pot we're gonna sink this into the ground We'll go back down further to the creek now and um, and we'll have a look at what we've got coming out of um, the pipe at the moment I haven't measured it but I have put a gauge on and it's pretty much exactly the same as what it was um, when we did our test which is 15.2 psi so that just tells me that 14.7 is 10 meters so we've, we're going to be round about that 11 meter mark from the top of the waterfall to the creek all right further down mate i'll see you soon all right so check this out this is the business end you know we're looking at around about half of that pvc pipe with the water coming out like i said i haven't measured it but i would be saying that there would certainly be more than seven liters a second coming out from here 
from our tests, we were looking at that 14, 15 mark. Um, so, you know, worst case scenario is that we needed seven, and, and that was our magic number. And that was going to give us our 300 um, watts an hour, around about that eight kilowatts um, hours a day. So, this is the end. This is the area where we're going to build our hut um, for the, uh, the Pelton wheel. We're going through the motions and talking to the suppliers at the moment about um, how the water is going to return back to the creek. Um, there's a variety of different options that we, 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 we want to have a look at. So, you know, what might happen here is that the actual Pelton Wheel, we may build it on the side just here, so it's out of the creek, and then we'll have our return coming through, you know, maybe on a 150 or 200 mil pipe back into the creek. Um, we'll put some baffles on it so we won't cause any erosion, and we'll certainly put in here a, uh, almost like a gabion wall, um, so that the, the, the overflow will go onto that gabion wall, to stop all that um, erosion and to eliminate any further speed that this little creek has for the prevention of erosion further down. Mate, we're all getting there. I can't believe it. So the next couple of weeks, I've got to start digging this in. I'll run a string line for, from the top of the um, pipe to this very point here, and that'll give me the gradient that I want, and then that's what basically will be where we follow. So, you know, there are gonna be bridges that will have to build up rocks to come across. There will be sections where we'll be coming into the soil. So that's effectively how we're gonna set this up. And really, as a visual impact, I wanna look back at this as we look further up, and I don't, I want it to blend into the surroundings. So, you know, that white pipe, we can consider it gone and we'll cover it whichever way we go. So, I tell you what, we're all about finally getting the route ready for your um, micro hydro power plant. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.